Hello everyone. Today we will continue to look at the Red Hat System Administrator Certification Question Bank. Ah, next let's look at question seven. The configuration for question seven is about a specific service or software. Ah, the NTP service, which is our time synchronization service. The configuration of this service, actually, relatively speaking, in the exam, it actually only requires us to configure a client, which is relatively simple. In practice, when we normally deploy it, it actually includes both the client and server that need to be deployed. Yeah, you know, however, in the exam, we only need to configure the client. Next, let's take a closer look at the solution to this question. First of all, the main requirement of the question is configure our NTB client, and then the domain name of the time server has already been provided to us. This name, you can see that it actually. Does this name look familiar? Ah, it is actually the name of one of our virtual machines. Look here. In our virtual machine, there is a name called Let's start it up again. Ah, here it is. This is the name of our virtual machine, right? So here, actually, for our primary beginner's exam, the main operations are on server A and server B. The others don't need to be operated on. Their main function is to provide an environment for many of our exam questions. For example, this question here, for this question, the exam only requires us to configure the client, Fatual. The server side is already configured in the environment, so we don't need to configure the time server. Please note that it is not the official time server. Me. Pay attention to this. Also, during the exam, we are not allowed to connect to the internet. Our hosts are not connected to the internet. All external connections are actually set up by other virtual machines within our own environment. For example, Let's look at the second question. In the second question, you can see there are also two links here, right? It looks like a website, but it actually isn't. If it were a website, right, there would be a big problem because it doesn't form a complete domain name. In reality, these two are also local, meaning they are two local ones. Addresses or two paths, you could say, two stable path. These are set up within the internal environment, within other virtual machines on the host. So here, we actually cannot connect to the internet. And this is the same for our current seventh question. Right, uh, even though a domain name is provided, ah, two domain names are provided, but actually they are not, they are not. Uh, here, please note that this domain name is an alias of our domain name. So when we specify it, how should I put it? Actually, you can specify either one here. However, our requirement here, the question actually requires this one. Uh, the question requires this. Please pay attention. Do not choose the one below. The requirement is actually for this name. It's just saying that it's an alias, not for you to specify it. You should still specify according to this. Specify according to this. Do. This is a point that needs attention. Also, this is a service, just like the previous question we had. Actually, what is used here? Ah, it should be the fifth question. In the fifth question, we use this. As for the crown tap service, it actually, in reality, it is essentially a software. It's essentially a software that needs to be initiated by a mechanism. Now, our seventh question is the same. We are also a software. However, our software is not named NTP. NTP is actually the name of a protocol, which means network time protocol. But the actual software service is not called this name. So please don't say that. Ah, if you go and use YarmY install to install something, to install an NDP, that would be wrong, right? NDP is not a service. It is the name of a protocol, a protocol for time synchronization. So what do we need here? Well, we need to use... First, install our service.
Oh, you definitely need to install it here. Even though, right? We do have it in our environment, but in the exam, not all services might be available. The first step is to install everything, and then. The next thing you need to do is these two steps, which you can actually do together. That is, first install, then enable auto start. Both steps must be done. You must do them. Let me emphasize again, you must do them. If you don't do this step, you won't get any points. Because the K font is very important. If you don't set up the K font the next time, this phrase means we emphasize that after the exam, how is it graded? They will shut down all the hosts and then restart them. If when you restart, right, you haven't set it to start automatically, none of these services will start, not a single one. You won't get any points at all. Ah, uh, because the criteria for judging these questions require that your service is running to determine if the configuration inside is correct. If your service isn't running, it's zero points. Ah, so everyone must pay attention here. Start the A type, yeah, so why did it report an error? Here. Because our service name actually isn't this one. This service is indeed a bit special, right? Generally, we call it NTP, correct? But NTP is just a protocol, not the service name, and the software we just installed. Okay, it says here, hey, it's not a service. We don't have this service in our system at all. Ah, this is because the software package we installed is indeed called this name, but the service is not called this name. There are many such situations in the system, so when you encounter them later, don't be surprised. It's very normal. The software package is one thing. The service is another thing, and they are not related. This is our service name. Including when you restart the service, you use this name. Later, you will need to restart the service. Verify the effect of this. Of course, in actual situations, it's okay if you don't restart. If you are confident that you can do it 100% correctly, you don't need to restart. Because after you restart the system, its services will automatically restart, naturally. However, it's still best to verify whether your situation is correct to check if everything is right. How do you verify it? Ah, it's through. Time synchronization, right? First, change the time slightly, and then, by using time synchronization, you can check the effect, of course, first here. We need to change the service configuration, because the service is already installed, right? We can also check the service status. If it's not started, you can. Actually, there's no rush to start it. Because after we make changes later, it's not too late to do it in the system. Ah, it's in a started state, no problem. Next, let's edit it. Actually, the path for most of our system services is this one. It's all in the ATC directory. Okay, we found this service. Pay attention to the file name. There's no D. The ones with D are the service names. Our configuration files, software packages, etc. do not have a substitute. When writing, make sure not to make a mistake. But even if you do, it's not a big deal. It will just result in an error. After the error, you'll know what to use. We can see that it actually already has some information, which is that it is in the starting state and is actually synchronizing. You can look at the last two lines. Right, it already has a circle now. Ah, it already has one. Or let's call it a synchronization address. Yes, it should be called a synchronization address. Who is responsible for this synchronization? Ah, it's this IP. This IP is also our internal IP, also an internal IP. Uh, here we configure it, like, through this. Edit this file, right? Once you enter, you can see, oh, this is the information we just saw outside. Here, right? You can see the information here, that it is currently synchronizing with this one. And then, this is a synchronization uh, time issue. Ah, so how do you change this part? Ah, it's like this. You can comment out this line. Then add a new line. You can directly change this, it doesn't matter. The effect is the same. There are many solutions. You can directly change it, or you can comment it out, and then add a new one. Both are fine. Ah, this method is actually more appropriate. Why? You can look above. Actually, the real time server in the system is the one above. So, it's just that, right? When I was setting up the environment over there, it would change this time. 
Ah, it has already changed it once. So we are essentially changing it again. Changing it again. The problem requires this domain name. Please pay attention. Do not write it as classroom. As for classroom, although we do have it, the problem does not require classroom. So we need to change it to this. Ah, everything should be according to the problem requirements. Everything according to the problem requirements. If you differ from the problem requirements, even if you did it correctly, if it doesn't match the problem requirements, then it's useless, right? When you take a certification exam, right? Our problem is the most important. Only if you solve every problem correctly can you, right, get the corresponding score and pass this thing. Especially like what? Especially like, like the previous one. The CLs part. Actually, there's a method where you can turn off all ports on SD Linux, and then everything can be accessed externally. If you turn off the firewall and SELs, all services and ports can be accessed normally, without any obstruction. However, the problem requires you to configure the SE Linux policy. This won't work, the result is indeed the same, your ports are open. But then, if you don't open the ports using the commands as required by the problem, and instead just turn it off, this won't work. So, it's the same here. Alright, after making the changes, let's restart the service. Uh, of course. Restarting here, as I mentioned earlier, is not mandatory, because if you restart the system, it will definitely restart the service. But what is our main purpose for restarting the service here? Ah, it is to verify whether our result is correct. How do we verify it? Now our time... It's like this. And then we use... date s to modify a time just change it change it as you like okay it's done right after it's done wait a few seconds then restart the service ah here it's called gagemen if it's too fast it might not sync also Keep in mind that for automatic synchronization, if you don't restart, it won't sync immediately. Why is that? Our time synchronization service is a continuously running process. If you encounter a situation where there is a significant time difference, it will. It won't immediately adjust the time to an exact value with minor changes like 1.1 points. This is for the stability of our system. So here. For instance, after we change the time now, it actually cannot synchronize itself in a short period. It cannot synchronize itself, which is very normal. Our time synchronization is a continuously running command, and if there is a significant gap, the synchronization efficiency will be slightly slower. This is normal, so in this case, we can use this command uh, if we forcibly restart this service. Ah, what will it do immediately? It will immediately look for a more standard time to synchronize with. Let's see how it works, shall we? Ah. It hasn't changed yet, which means it still needs some time. Ah, here you can wait a little bit. Ah, wait a little bit. Or you can, what, you can restart, what, directly restart our service. The overall service is also okay. Or restarting the entire virtual machine is also fine. That's another method. Ah, in this case, as long as it's for verifying this question, it's not that strict. You just need to ensure, right? You just need to ensure your domain name. Ah, uh, or just... It can't really be called a domain name, right? This is actually considered a host name because we are dealing with an internal network situation, an internet situation. Ah, so in this part, as long as you ensure that this is written correctly, there shouldn't be any issues. There shouldn't be any issues. For verification, you can wait a while before restarting the service or restarting the virtual machine. As long as you ensure this is correct, there won't be any issues with this question on this is our time synchronization service. If you need the complete question bank, you can leave a comment below to purchase the most stable question bank at the best price. That's it for today, everyone. Goodbye.